Ja, 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 Negara tu dia nak beri alih alih. Negara nak kuliah pun ada semua mereka. Atau dari kata hir itu, okey tu atau mereka yang nak kimo, nak orang yang kia negu kau yang buat kerja kerja, dia tahu mereka apa tu. Thank you for the time. Mohon ya bosho. Good morning everyone. God is good. And all the time, even in this season, you say God. Even in morning, Amen. We thank God this morning. And I want to thank all of you that are here and those that are coming, Nawala wa Koinje. And uh, we are here to lay our sister and our friend in rest. This is the final journey today. So we pray that the family will be encouraged and uh, the comfort will be upon them and the strength of God. Amen. Amen. And today is just a reflection. And uh, you just ask yourself, because everybody, this is the journey. You just ask yourself, what if this morning is mine? How will you go? Where will you go? Ujuliza yo swali. Kama ni mimi ningekua. Thank you, Rev. Amazing to see you this morning. Kama ni mimi ningekua. Wa hapa mahali minaono na watu. Ningemalizia safari yangu waji. As we can see, tumeona matunda ya Anita. All of us, we are here because of her. Her legacy. She has touched each and every person in her own way. Each and every person that is here and those that are not able to come. So, by just seeing the people the way they have come, it shows that Anita had something that we call social capital. Social capital is the people that you have in your life. When you are going to rest, what legacy are you living? We have a lot of things that we are going to remember about her. And that is why we are here today. Everybody has something to share about Anita and a story to tell about her. Because she has touched your life. She has touched your ministry or your, or your job or your business in one way or another. So before the journey comes for you to go to heaven, ask yourself, where will I leave my leaders? How will I leave the people that know me? What will I leave with the people in the world? Because Anita has left a lot of memories that are amazing. Amen? Amen? So I just want to encourage us and the family, I repeat again, Melody and Mom, the sisters, and the family, the entire family, I repeat again the word that I preached yesterday night in Genesis chapter 50. When Joseph was going, he said, I am living and I'm going to die soon. But God, who we have been serving from my father Abraham, Isaac and Jacob will be coming to visit you. That is the word that I insist for the family event today. At the Anita Mam Niato Herera, Nania B. No more than the top of the Kiakumekia melody, Leo Tanizi Mam, Mana Menda, Nana Bitena. The top of the Kiaborene Shituna to Murekere Mam, melody will be coming every week and it never come to pass. I can encourage the family. Anita has left, the gap is felt. It is reality. We cannot replace her. It is painful. We know that. But Jehovah God, who she has been serving because I know her as a servant, will be coming to visit you, will be coming to help you. And today, we are allowed to mourn, to cry, to shout, to do anything we can do. But remember, we do not mourn like them who do not have hope. The Bible tells us, whoever sleeps in Christ, there is hope in the future, for we shall meet them again. We shall be reunited again with Anita. We shall meet her where she has gone. So we are going to mourn like those who have hope in the Lord that we are going to see Anita again. So family, as we mourn, we are allowed to cry, we are allowed to mourn and to release our emotions, but remember that there is hope. We are going to meet Anita again when the day comes. So, family, I want to encourage us that God will be coming to visit us in Jesus' mighty name. Bonaiswa Sikiwe. Situnaeza Omba. Father, we want to thank you this morning. We honor you 
and we bless your name this morning. We want to say thank you because you have been faithful in our lives and we have seen your faithfulness through the life of Anita. Thank you for giving us, Anita, almost 40 years. Thank you for the gift. Lord, we acknowledge that. We thank you because you have been an amazing woman. She has touched a lot of people, a lot of family members, a lot of friends in one way or another. Today has come to the last day as we lay her to rest. God, we ask of your strength. We pray that you may comfort us. May you comfort the family members. Comfort our mom today. Comfort Melody, her daughter today. Comfort the entire family members, her sisters, her cousins, and everybody in the family, and also as friends. We are asking for your grace. We are asking for your strength to the glory and honor of your name. God, we know that this gap and this pain, it is real and it is paining and it is too much. But you are the only God who can be able to fix the gap that they are feeling. You can be able to comfort them and to give them hope, hope and to give them comfort and to give them peace. We pray for your peace, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are asking for journey masses as we come from this place all the way to Kenogoya. We cancel the spirit of accident and incidences along the way in the mighty name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of death that follow people when they are going to bury you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. We cancel accidents on the road yes. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. We declare none of us will die yes. even through heart attack, yes. even by fainting in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Holy Spirit, we invite you yes. to be upon each and every person, yes. to hold them where they need you in Jesus' mighty name. We are asking for conducive weather. Give us good weather as we lay our sister to rest. Lord, may you preserve this family. None of them shall die premature again. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are binding this spirit of death in this family. The, the door that the death has opened, we shut it in Jesus' name. We are free together and we shut it in Jesus' name. None of them will die again prematurely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, as we view the body of Anita, we are asking of your strength. We pray, oh God, may you hold her mother, hold her daughter, hold her sisters, hold the entire family, Lord. Holy Ghost, you are the best comforter. You are the best helper. May you help them to view her with a lot of peace and comfort in Jesus' mighty name. We honor you and we bless your name for it is in Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen. Amen. Ni nataka kutambua wa tulishi wa mungu ambao tupo nao hapa We have pastors, kindly na oba tupo yeshi kwa chungadi tutusimamu I know that some of our hapa wa pastor Paul, kuna reverend Ataka tumusimame tu wote, tuwaone kwa chungadi Santini kwa chungadi, thank you so much Tutawagiwa zaidi from my right, mwepe tujina tu Reverend Yuriya Pastor Fancy, Pastor Judy, Pastor Judy, P. and Yuko, Amen. Also Francis, Pastor Judy, as well. Asante. Thank you. Let's appreciate the men. Ah, to not take a quick year, Katika, to just a moment with our late our sister. Now we know about to take a step. Now we are to be mizane. Let us. To be a woman, son, and I do not know as a quarter emotional, but you know, but to keep a woman for the sake of this family to keep a woman. To Tanzania Marafiki, to Tatumia Mugango, we go Marafiki, what Tanzania took Bale, Marafiki, what Kisha Maliza, Tumuna Zion, and what water for water, and what Kisha and the Hamata of Loka Pomali, it was a year for me here to water for permission. We go to Tanzania Marafiki, at a minute of Mugango. We can just begin, then Zion uh, watakuwa pale nyuma badaye, then the family watakuja mwisho kabisa. Kwa hivyo, asante sana sara, kutotuwa kutangia tuna pale, kutusegia na hivyo, mikiwa na... Actually, tutuwa Zion timu naweza endaga na hapo mele, kutusegia wale ambao wanaweza kuna. Thank you so much. Yes, 
Sawa sawa tunaweza tu kwanza tunapita tu alafu e, laki tukimaliza tutubiu tunaenda tukao gari yako na tunapotea has Oh, so 